beef shank that is. Look at that. Beautiful guys. Give it a little twirl, let it show off its beauty. And now we're gonna get it completely covered all the way around. And these beautiful flavors. Delicious. And we grill. But it ain't over. So we're not wasting this. The flavor is gonna be all over. Okay guys, we are done searing this. Look at that, perfect. We're gonna place it on here and we are off to the oven. Okay, we're gonna go in here at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit for six hours and we're not done. We'll be right back to pick this baby up. and a little rosemary all around. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. And we keep on bringing this all the way to the top, guys. Give it a little press so it stays in place. All the way, guys, to give it a twist and push down. Now we come back over here. We get one last puff pastry. Put the hole right in the center. Bring it down like this. And we tuck it in at the bottom. Get that edge in, tuck it in. And now we're back off to the oven. It's back to the oven for two more hours and we'll be back to pick it up. So we have a potato here guys with the ends cut off. We're gonna go ahead and place it on our KitchenAid attachment. Just like that, be careful. The plate is very sharp. Then we're gonna come here. Go ahead and get that locked in. Pull the safety and we get to rolling. Let's go ahead and get some nice long bands from here. Beautiful. There we go. And we can go ahead and shut it off now. So we're going to place this here and we stretch it out all along the table. Go ahead and grab some paper. Give it a little tap, get some of that starch off, and remove the paper. Now we come through with a pizza cutter, and we're gonna make some triangles. Now, a little butter, parsley. More butter. Get this delicious parsley on here, guys. Little shredded cheddar all the way down. You can be generous with it. Finish off. A little salt and pepper. Now, guys, all we have to do is grab one, stack it on top of the other. Make a nice little roll, like if you're making croissants. There we go, nice and cheesy, nice and buttery. And with the toothpick, go ahead and close it up. And now we are off to the fryer. Okay guys, now we're just gonna drop our cheese twist right into our hot oil. Okay, our last fried cheese croissants are about ready to come out of the oil. They are nice and crispy, nice and golden. Go ahead and let them drip dry here with the rest. Look at that guys, nice and cheesy. We're gonna move on to the next one. Okay y'all, the moment we've been waiting for. Go ahead and grab this very carefully. It is hot. Let's go ahead and place it here. Get out the way. She's up a little knife. It don't even have to be that sharp. Wow, listen to that crust. Beautiful. Let's see what's inside. Oh, that is ready. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab this piece of pie guys. Place it right here. Look at all those veggies. They're nice and ready. Get some of these. Place them on top. Now all you've got to do is enjoy. 